Hello, you're listening to Count Richard von Kudenhof Clergy. Today is Friday, the 5th of October. Uh, here are just a couple of comments since my last video. More from that canary in the coal mine, Sweden. It has been reported that in an effort to improve the pass rates of migrants doing their driving test, up to 20% of them are now being taken in Arabic. Irish School of Motoring take note. Still in Sweden, following the rape of a school teacher by an Arab-speaking migrant in a report on schools in Sweden found that 70% of all schools have had to improve security, with some actually having to employ security guards. Last year there were 554 reported acts of threatening behaviour, robbery and violence in schools. In Malmo, 9% of teachers have been physically assaulted from headbutting to the chest, punches to the stomach and being tripped up and one teacher had their leg scarred by a piece of broken glass and 18% of teachers have quit, have considered quitting their job altogether. In Rinkby, one of Sweden's no-go zones, more than half of the students in one primary school failed to achieve the necessary results to enter second level schools. In another teaching story in England, this time from Manchester, a report on the BBC of a school of six year olds in an effort to stamp out homophobic thought and bringing a new meaning to the word fairy tales. Children have had to write a fairy tale about the handsome prince falling in love and marrying his manly male servant. Is this not a form of child abuse? And is there any depths of which the left will not go to sing society. Teachers of Ireland take note. I noticed the ship the Aquarius flying the flag of Panama has had it removed under threat that the Italian government would ban any Panamanian registered ship from docking in any of their ports. And no sooner had the Aquarius stopped operations, the Spanish registered vessel open arms uh, took to the sea and within two operations rescued over 400 migrants. I noticed that that tax exile tosser Bono is at it again, this time in Copenhagen. Following his concert in Paris, he where he mocked uh, earlier on September, where he mocked the Swedish, S Swedish Democrat leader Jimmy Atkinson by parading around giving Nats a salute, saying his name. He has now mocked the, the, the Danish government by their banning of the burqa. Uh, if if the members of U2 want me to buy any more their period, any of their material, please shut this guy up. I noticed that Tommy Robinson is also going to sue Sky News, which I think is great. He did an interview there after he got out from prison and they very carefully edited to make him look like an extremist and unbeknownst to them Robinson recorded the interview himself and was able to prove that the interview had actually been edited. edited. I, I also note that I watched a video there during the week by Emmanuel Godson. He does some fabulous artwork there and I have to say I think you're a very talented artist. I like your passion and the way you speak about this country and your observations. So well done to you. Uh, I notice I have a couple of new subscribers this week. So thanks very much for subscribing. And please feel free to comment on any of my videos. Well, that's about it. My thoughts are my own. And thanks for listening. Bye bye.